now that we have the two pancakes and they're joined together by this one ring in the middle, this one true ring to join them all, we are going to start uh, working our way around and attaching more and more of these rings to each other. All the rings on this side will attach to rings on this side, and same thing on in the opposite direction. Um, this ring that we just joined, or that we just closed, has two orange ones and two purple ones in it. So this one here, two orange ones, two purple ones. Um, I'm going to take... Uh, I can I can count to figure out what to do next. So this one, this ring right here, has three other rings through it. Um, they are the purple one here, the brown one, and this orange one here. It's not really important which colors they are. It's important that there's three of them, and this is one of the rings on the outermost uh, row of rings. This ring comes from this pancake, so I'm going to join this ring to something on this pancake. And the one that I'm going to join it to is not this one, because this one already has four through it. I'm going to join it to the next one, which is this one here. This one, only this purple one right here, only has two other rings through it. It has two orange ones through it. So I'm going to join this purple and this purple together. And again, the fact that this is open one direction and this is open the opposite direction is going to make this easier. I'm going to join them like this and try not to cast a shadow over it while I do it. So I'm going to join them like that. Uh, if I can squeeze them together. Wait, actually, let me get these rings out of the background. Hopefully that'll make it easier to see. And hopefully the lighting will be easier. Uh, this is getting difficult. Okay, let me go like that. Alright, so I've done it. I've attached this one to this one. And now this one, has, it had three, now it has four other rings through it. So now I'm going to close this one, like this. Close, go a little bit beyond, and then when I let go, it'll go back to the right place. And I can check after doing each one of those that these uh, kind of fall in the counterclockwise direction, the purple rings. This one's on top of this one, this one's on top of this one, this one's on top of this one, and so on. And then these purples are also going, uh, falling in the counter, uh, clockwise. Did I say counterclockwise? Anyway, clockwise. These are going clockwise. The clock goes this way. All right. Um, this one's on top of this one, 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 and so on. That means, uh, that I've attached this one correctly. And now that I've done that, this ring here that had, like that, um, this ring, it has three rings through it. it. It's the one that used to have only two rings through it, but now it has this other purple one through it. So now it has three rings through it. This one is on this pancake, and I'm going to join it to this pancake. So... And the one that I'm going to join it to, maybe you can spot it already, but it's going to be this one here that only has two orange rings through it, two other rings through it. So this one has three, if I can get it, three, three rings through it. I'm going to join it to the first one over here that only has two rings through it. And I'm going to try to do that in such a way that I don't block the light. Get the two openings close to each other, and then slide it in like that, and now I can check again. Um, we still have this one's on top of this one, 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 
And going the other way, the, or on the other pancake, this one's on top of this one, 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 and so on all the way around. So now that's a good connection, and it's in the correct orientation and everything. So I'm going to take this one and close it. it. It's the one that had three attached to it, and now it has four attached to it. So I'm going to close that up. Uh, here it goes. And I'm just going to keep doing that. So you can see I have a, a few of them attached now. I'm going to keep doing that all the way around. I'm going to keep attaching them until I get a little tiny hole uh, about big enough for like maybe two fingers to go into or maybe just one finger. Um, and then uh, that'll be where I start the next video. Oh shoot, I didn't mention, uh, well, I should have mentioned this in the last video, but it's important that the reinforcement rings are on the same side as each other, because this whole thing is going to go together, and maybe I'll just do a separate video that can go right after that last video. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, end of video.